Hey everybody, how you guys doing? Welcome to episode 7 of our Dinkum Let's Play over here on Skimpletonia. As you can see, it's a nice and rainy day out today. Last episode, we ended up building up a museum as well as placing the bulletin board and getting some roads built up. However, after building the roads, I, uh, I'm going to be having to uh, move this bulletin board here. But that's alright, we'll find a nice place for that eventually. Today, I want to focus on the museum because we have yet to go in there. Let's go ahead and hop up into the museum where Theodore is staying. Oh, sorry, I don't think I introduced myself. I get a bit carried away sometimes. I'm Theodore. I'd love to open a museum here on Skimpletonia. Well, you already have. We could fill it with all the interesting things found here on Scobotonia, so please speak to Fletch about building the museum as soon as possible. Well, Theodore, seems like we've already built your museum. Welcome to the museum. What can I do for you? Now that that's out of the way, let's go over here to where we were storing our bugs and a couple fish. And we can pick all these up now. Looks like our pockets are actually full, so... We're gonna go deposit some of this stuff. All right, so we emptied out a lot of our pockets here. So what we're gonna do is pick up all of these bugs and fish, and then we can go and donate them to the museum to get a nice surprise. I also forgot last episode, we ended up catching two queen bees as well as two normal bees, which is very nice. So back at the museum here, you could talk to Theodore and donate the bugs and the fish you find. However, can only donate one of each so once you've donated say a fly you can no longer donate another fly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and donate one of everything and as you can see um he will ask will you be willing to donate it take it and we get 100 permit points after donating so that'll give us um around a thousand permit points i'd assume let's get to donating all right, so we ended up donating all of our fish and bugs and we were able to donate 16 bugs and three fish As you can see on these signs right here, and we actually almost got 2,000 permit points from that. We were 100 off Um, and now we can actually buy a camera So that's 16k. We actually can't buy that right now. We're broke now that we have Theodore in our town That means we can also chat with him and ask him for a job so he has a miner's helmet he doesn't want anymore. Do I want to buy it? Let it go for 9,960. Oh, I can't afford that. I'm sorry. Yes, the price was too high. That is not good. So with the remainder of our bugs here, we're just going to sell them to John. Um, we're actually going to keep that queen bee because we'll need it eventually. But we'll sell everything else. 7k. Yep. Thank you so much, Johnny. I'm also going to grab a job from John here, as well as Fletch, um, and he wants us to catch a fly. Sure, I can catch you a fly. Pretty sure we actually just donated one to him, but... Oh, here's a fly. Perfect, right outside. Let's see what Fletch wants. So it looks like she actually wants a piece of furniture. Um, Unfortunately, I don't have an extra piece of furniture other than the chair that's right next to my campfire but i kind of like that so we're gonna keep it sorry about that fletch here you go johnny got your fly he gave us a face bandana a red one could look cool let's see what that looks like pretty snazzy i'll keep that on matches our pants here the other thing i want to do here is upgrade my basic pickaxe into a copper one there we go there's a copper pickaxe and we have 3,000 permit points. So while we're here, we might as well apply for a license or two. We could get the um, metal detecting level two license, trapping license level two, handling license level two. Hmm, there's a lot here we can choose from. I think we're gonna go for building license level two because that'll allow us to craft windmills which will help speed up production tasks. That is very nice. And we still have another 2000. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is purchase the cargo license level two. And that increased our backpack slots by another three. Very nice. So I wanted to move the bulletin board, but it looks like you actually need to pay off the town debt before we can move any buildings. Um, let me see if the bulletin board counts as a building. I'm not sure if it does. I'm guessing it does. Because it is a deed after all. Oh, nope. You can just pick it up. Cool. It's good to know. So I'm going to fill this in with dirt. Um, It's only a small patch. And I think having it just flat right there would look overall just better, to be honest. So we're going to go ahead and fill that in. 
I guess I will use this right here to fill it in. See you guys in one second. All right, the last piece, and we managed to fill it in. So what that gives us the ability to do now is move the bulletin board a bit back, which is nice. I think I'm gonna wanna move it just uh, only a couple tiles away. I'm thinking, hmm, we're gonna chop this tree down. It's in the way. Get out of here. So I'm thinking I'm actually gonna want the bulletin board to face this way, so that way when we're coming up the pathway, we can just turn right into the bulletin board. Um, and that'll give us some room to decorate it as well. So I'm going to put it just right here for now. Yep. There we go. So currently I'm just breaking some rocks so I can get some stones. I want to make some cement bags so we can go ahead and make the cement pathways. And also stone just seems like something we always need anyway. So here I am collecting it. One dogs. On dunks. So around an episode or two ago, we managed to unlock the copper pickaxe. And with the copper pickaxe unlocked, that means we can now break these giant stones. And breaking these giant stones gives you a bunch of good stuff like stones, iron, ore. It can give you tin. They are really worth breaking. So as soon as you guys get that copper pick, go around, break these giant stones. And you'll begin racking up the good loots. Found a big old patch of ores right here. So I want to make a couple changes to the YouTube channel here. One of the changes I want to make is going to be with the thumbnails. I want to expand my thumbnail creativity. And currently we've been using the same thumbnail like base for all the thumbnails. And I would just change it up a little bit. But I think for the next episodes, I'm going to try and make some different types of thumbnails, see which ones I like more. And uh, if I like the change, then we'll continue to make different thumbnails. And I want to feature something from the episode that will catch people's attention when they see the thumbnail. So over the course of these next few episodes, I want you guys to let me know if you enjoy the change or if you liked the old thumbnail style where it was just basically the same thing, but with a little bit of a change. Dogs. So if you guys are wondering where you can find these big rocks, I managed to find them a lot in the desert. So um, if you're looking for them, head to the desert. Any desert area will probably do. And I'm sure you can see there's a bunch of them. Um, one's visiting the island. Wonder who it could be. We managed to find a good amount of stuff. We found a 62 tin, 53 copper, and a 7 iron as well as around 60 stones and a bunch of bugs right here. So if you go into your Pedia, you can actually see all the bugs, fish, critters, and uh, NPCs that you've met or donated. And you could tell if you've donated them because there'll be a little museum icon right above their picture. And as you can see, we've caught a cricket, but apparently we haven't donated that. I think we just caught that last night and that's all. And fish, the Barco Grunter, we managed to catch one for an NPC a couple episodes ago and we weren't able to deliver it. So right now we are going to go and deliver the cricket that's in my inventory. I think we have one. Yep, there it is, cricket. So small and so loud. There you go, here's a cricket. Yes, take it. There we go, and now we've donated 17 bugs. Last night, I managed to catch a lot of black crickets, so I want to see how much these are actually worth. 980. Okay, so I have a bunch of those. That'll uh, definitely add up. 4.9k for those crickets. Nice. I also want to see how much the redback spider goes for. 
1,500. Nice. I think we have a couple of those. And I want to see how much the Firefly and Cockroach goes for. So the Cockroach goes for 154. That is booty. And the Firefly goes for 860. Not bad. I'm also going to go ahead and sell the yellow wattle flower as well as the old sign we got. 22k. And with that money, I want to go ahead and buy a stone grinder, another one. Yes, give it to me. Thank you. I'm going to start cooking up this copper ore and turning these stones into bags of cement here. Earlier, I unlocked the windmill recipe, and in order to make a windmill, we're going to be needing five iron bars. Five. So that is a lot of iron bars, and I don't think we'll be able to make one just yet, but we'll also be needing 20 tin sheets, um, and that's around 20 tin bars in order to make those. The windmill would help us a lot because that'll speed up these stone grinders because they are affected by the windmill, I think. Yep, they are windmill compatible, so if we got the windmill, it would definitely help speed up these production times. So we'd actually be able to make two iron bars if we smelted that, which means we'd only need three in total. I didn't realize, but you can actually see the ore you placed inside of the furnace. Can you see that with the crude furnace? You can. That's pretty cool. And when it's out, you do not see it. Super cool. So something I did not realize is you can't actually place your iron ore into the crude furnace. You can only place copper and tin. You can place iron ore in the normal furnace though. So we managed to cook up 15 tin, 11 copper, and one iron bar. One iron bar is currently being smelted as well. Go ahead and our ores right there not bad 32 tin bars so i'm going to be making some cement paths i don't know how many i'm going to be making but i'm going to do a couple at least so we made 160 cement paths that should be good for now what i'm going to do is dig up some of these paths and get to placing some cement ones so it looks like i forgot to come and see who came to our town here at skimpletonia i deeply apologize for that but right here, as you can see, we have Erwin. Good day, mate. The name is Erwin. Your dot, dot, dot. Don't tell me. Your skimp, right? That is absolutely correct, Erwin. Absolutely wonderful to meet you, mate. I'm Erwin. Oh, I already told you that, right? Yes, you did. I'm visiting Skimpletonia, trying to find a home for some beautiful little creatures. You have a handling license? Come by and talk to me. There's nothing more bonza than looking after a beautiful little creature. That is totally right, Erwin. I'd love to purchase some little creatures. I hope you can help me out, Skimp. I definitely can. Need anything? You have a logging license, right? That you could help me out and rustle up six palm wood. Sure, I'll do it. I'll do it, Erwin. Pretty sure I got a ton in my chest back at home. Looks like we do. He wanted six and... You have a bunch, so we'll go deliver that to him right now. Here you go, Erwin, my man. Take your six palm one. Wackadoo, Skimp pulls through again. Thanks again, Skimp. I want you to take this as a reward. Iron Path. Very industrial. Super cool. So it looks like he has some sort of chicken as well as chicken food and a chicken feeder. Love to get one of those when we can. So we managed to finish the path, as you can see. Adding the cement, I think, is a nice touch. It adds a little bit more texture, and it makes it look like some parts of it is pristine, while some parts of it is a little bit run down. I definitely do like the texture look. Hopefully, you guys do as well. If you don't, let me know. Maybe we can come up with something better if you don't like it, but I personally do think it looks pretty good. Eventually, I want to add some lights and whatnot and bushes along the way. Let's see what we need to make some lights. I actually don't see any lights in here currently. The only light I see is a wooden torch, and I don't know if we want to make that right now. We can make animal traps, which is something I want to do, actually. So we're going to need to go and get some mangrove sticks. Let's go do that. Let's go find some mangroves. I managed to find some mangroves not too far from my house. We're going to chop some of these down and get some mangrove sticks. Eventually, I want to make a mangrove farm near my house, but that'll be something for another episode. 
Stay tuned for that. So it seems like every mangrove tree you break likes to give you five mangrove sticks. Um, and it's actually a sign right here. I did not see that. So we're going to craft up some simple animal traps. We're going to be able to craft just a couple. That'll be more than enough. So we crafted five. And another thing I'm going to want to craft is maybe one or two animal collection points. We're going to need some hardwood planks for that. So we're going to need to go to the pine forest and break some of those trees. We could break the ones around our house, but I like the way they look there. So we're going to keep them. Here we are. We found some hardwood trees we'll go ahead and break these and get to making some hardwood planks so we managed to find a bee's nest here and we actually don't have our bug net on us unfortunately so we're gonna leave this here for now and then uh, when it's time to leave we'll pick it up and bring it to john's crack that bitch open i feel like we've gotten pretty lucky with these bee's nests recently we're managing to find a lot of them and I know some people have a lot of trouble finding them so for science and for you guys, I'm going to show you how much I would get if I were to sell this in case you were wanting to sell it. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot. He's closed. So uh, I guess we'll just break this one open and get another one soon. B and a queen bee. Nice. So it's good that we broke that open. We'll put the queen bee just by this one. And we're also going to make some hardwood planks. There we go. We got 16 hardwood planks. We'll put the rest of the logs in here. And we'll also need palm wood planks. I don't know how much we'll need, so we'll get to making some of those. So now we can make the animal collection point. We'll go ahead and make a couple of these up. Maybe like three or four. We'll go ahead and make four of them. I'm going to place one of the animal collection points just right behind John's shop. In case he is closed, we can go and place it whatever we have to on that. So I know what you guys might be thinking. You, if you haven't played this game or you're just new to it, you might be asking yourself, what the heck does the animal collection point do? Well, if you read it, it says it drops trapped animals inside to receive rewards. And the unique thing about the animal collection point is you can place it anywhere. So what that means is you can go to wherever you wanna collect a lot of animals and place down the animal collection point. And then you can take your animal traps and set them up like so. So as you can see, he's trying to escape and he will escape just like that. So we're going to let him escape. What you want to do is you actually want to damage the animal that you're trying to catch. Once you damage it enough, like so. Try to get around less than half or half. So he's around half health now. And then you can easily trap the animal. And as you can see, he's no longer trying to escape. So always weaken the animal you're wanting to trap. And all you got to do, come over to the animal collection point. Drop him off. And the next day, you will get a reward. If you're wondering if you could pick this up, the answer is no, you cannot pick it up. And if you go to try and break it with an axe or something, it will completely destroy it. You will not get it back. I'm going to go ahead and mark this animal collection point so we know what's here. We will just mark it with a star for now. We have two of these guys right here. Go ahead and we can bolt them up. Preferably one at a time. So we have both of them pretty weakened now. Um, hopefully this guy will run in. There you go. This guy is still on fire. Don't die. Come on. Come here, buddy. Run into the trap. There we go. So now both of them are trapped and we can bring them over to the collection point we set up just right over here. Here's one. And here's another. That means we have two traps left. So I'm going to set up another animal collection point just right here. And we have a couple sleeping things. I forget what these guys are called. Come here. Come on. So that guy's on fire again. Hopefully we can trap them. And trapping them actually stops the fire. Come here. There we go. And we got the last two traps done. We're going to use up the rest of our energy here and then head home and sleep. We'll just collect some basic items and mine whatever we have to. 
Always make sure you use your energy before you head to sleep. So that way you don't waste energy. Never waste energy. Come on, guys. You know that. I almost forgot, but I do want to mark this. Go ahead and mark that with a star as well. And we'll catch that cockroach. Here's a moth. A bagong moth. That's one we have not donated. Got rain visiting the island. That's very nice. Looks like we have mail this morning. So here we go. The reason why we wanted to drop off the animals in the animal collection point or deliver them to John, whatever one was easier for you, was because you can deliver these animals and you get paid. And bush devils tend to give you a lot. 12k per bush devil. And yes, you do get your trap back. So this will give us a lot of nice coin. We go ahead and spend when we need it. It's a very simple way to make some money. There are some other ways, but some of the ways to me aren't fun. And animal trapping is pretty fun. So go ahead and try that if you're trying to make some money. It's definitely worth it. And the requirements for them are very low. It looks like we also have a letter here from Fletch. Because you've been increasing your skills, there's a new level of mining license available to you. Looks like we have another mining license. That's amazing. And just to prove it to you, yes, we did get all five of our traps back. Well, as now we have 94K. That'll allow us to go ahead and pay a lot of our debt off. So the town is currently still 101,000 dinks in debt. We're going to donate 80,000 for now. And that'll put us only 21K in debt. So we're not too far off from being able to pay for that. Let's see how much the mining license level three is. Looks like mining license level three is the 3,000. And that'll allow us to craft a better pickaxe. I'm going to donate the bugs that we have yet to donate, like the bugong moth. I think that's the only one we haven't donated yet. I have a donation for you, Theodore. Take the bugong moth. Yes, take it, take it, take it. There you go. Thank you very much. I'll be seeing you later. So it looks like Fletch is wanting us to get her black shorts off of her for 3k. Sure, I'll take them. I'll take them. Black shorts. Not bad. So we could be dripped out in all black. It looks pretty good. We'll go ahead and wear those. And we'll also try and do a job for Rain. So that way, hopefully, she'll be able to want to move in. Want to chat. Got a job for me, Rain. A yellow dress. I'll buy it. Sweet. So we'll also go ahead and talk to her because I think that raises her hearts. Out of all veggies, I like corn the best. So it looks like whenever she wants food, if Rain ever wants food, you're going to want to give her some corn. Got a job for me, Johnny. Orange plaid pants. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these items off to him that I do not want anymore. I will sell all of them. See how much we get. 16k. Nice. That puts us up to 23k. So it looks like all of our trees and all of our plants are on the verge of finishing and growing. And when those are done, that'll be very nice for us because I'll be able to come over here and collect a bunch of fruits. So over here at the bulletin board, you can click onto the bulletin board and the NPCs that are in your town will actually give you some sort of quest. And if you look at Theodore's, it's a shipping request and he wants to collect 24 cooked banana. The reward is 18K. So if we go and bring him 24 cooked banana, he'll give us 18K and there's three days remaining. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And Fletch wants us to investigate something. I will also accept that. Let's go banana hunting. Wandongs. More Wandongs. They're after us. There's one of the bananas. Back up now, boy. Back up. I'm not going to hurt you. Don't make me pull out the bat. There we go. 24 cooked bananas. That's all we need. We have these things marked. Looks like we don't. We'll go ahead and mark these guys. Oh, they've gone rogue. Looks like there's more over here as well. We'll go ahead and mark those. Ouch. Holy mother load of 10. Don't mind all this up. I want to go ahead and try to catch one of these lizards and deliver them because I want to see how much they're worth. Ouch. That hurts a lot. Let's see. Does this work? Come here. 
All right, so we can already catch him. Looks like we also got a milestone damage sponge. Another 100. We'll go ahead and deliver this. Oh, there's a, a shit ton of ore right here. Holy. Okay, we're going to mark that. That's a lot of ore. Kwandong City over here. I'm going to collect all the Kwandongs. The word Kwandong is just very weird. Is Kwandong an actual fruit? So I looked it up and Kwandongs actually are a fruit. You can get them in red variants and in blue variants. Um, and that's super cool. They actually look really delicious. I never knew that they were actually a food. We're going to put this lizard in the animal drop off point. We could go inside, but it's quicker to just go right there. And then we're going to cook up these bananas so we can give them to our boy Theodore. I want to chat. I did that thing for you, Theo. Theo dork. Here's your cooked bananas. Cooked them up. Shafted up in the kitchen just for you, Theo. You really saved me. I didn't think I'd get that shipment filled. Here's your 18,000. Quest complete. Looks like we got a milestone done as well. Bored as. 200 permit points. So having that amount of money also means we can pay off the rest of our debt here. So now we don't got to worry about debt until we, uh, of course, get a new building, if that ever happens. So for the remainder of this episode, I want to add a pathway going up to Theo's place here. I think we're just going to um, move this dirt a little bit. Got another milestone complete, human mower. So I want to make some steps going up to the museum, but I'm not sure what kind of steps I want to use. I think we might make some cement steps. I think that'll look the best. However, we might make the hard wood steps or the stone steps. We'll do cement. We just need one bag of cement and cement path. We will go ahead and make a couple of these. Only a couple. We don't need much right now. That should be enough. And we will go and try to make this look at least a little bit good. Hopefully. So we managed to make a little pathway like this, which I think looks pretty good. Unfortunately, we can actually cannot place paths under the building, which is super annoying, but they did fix something, which was an issue back in the day when the game released where the door actually was not centered with two tiles. It was off into one of the directions. I think it was the left a little bit more than it was to the right, but that's centered. But now the only issue is we cannot place a pathway under the building. They should definitely add that in the future. That'd be super nice. It might replace this so we can do that. But for right now, I think it looks pretty good. Pretty snazzy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to call that an episode for today. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, episode number seven. Come back tomorrow at around 2.30 to 3 p.m. Eastern time for the eighth episode. I will be seeing you guys very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you soon. Have a good night, everyone. Bye.